Hi, welcome to another video from SQLMaestros.com. My name is Amit Aras Bansal and I am going to be your host for this video. In this video, I am going to show you how to find out the new dynamic management objects in SQL Server 2014. Dynamic management objects are bread and butter for a DBA. Dynamic management objects comprise of dynamic management views and dynamic management functions. They allow you to find out the internals and performance data about a SQL Server instance. For a DBA, when we install a new SQL Server instance, for example, if you install the new version of SQL Server 2014, it's not very easy to find out what are the new dynamic management views that are there in the product and how you can use them. For example, if you refer the online documentation, it's not easy to find that out either from the online documentation. You might have to depend on a blog post written by someone from the SQL Server team or from the SQL Server community. The online documentation does not very precisely and crystal clearly lists out all the new DMOs. So I am going to show you a quick technique uh, using some of my VMs that I have and I'm going to compare the uh, system objects that are there in SQL Server 2014 versus the system objects that are there in SQL Server 2012 and I'm going to find out the difference between them. So here is a quick technique on finding out the new uh, DMOs in SQL Server 2014 and you can apply this technique also uh, with other versions of SQL Server. Let's begin. I'm using two virtual machines here for this demo. There is a virtual machine for SQL Server 2014 and there is a virtual machine for SQL Server 2012 Service Pack 1. The idea behind quickly figuring out all the dynamic management objects that are new in SQL Server 2014 would be to compare the result set uh, of sys objects system catalog uh, in SQL Server 2014 with the sys objects system catalog in SQL Server 2012. And essentially, we are going to take out the difference between the two. So let's connect to SQL Server 2014. What I will first do is uh, configure SQL Server 2012 VM as a, as a linked server. I'll switch on uh, command line here and I will first try to check if I'm able to talk to my SQL Server 2012 VM. So I'm going to ping the server. That's the name of the uh, operating system out there. So the name of the box, win2k8r2 and I am able to ping, which is a good news. So let's close this. I will expand server objects and uh, I repeat, I am in SQL Server 2014 VM. Expand linked servers and create a new linked server. I need to specify the name of the instance and that would be the server name win2k8r2 backslash sql2012 sp1. That's the name of my instance. This is a SQL Server instance, so I just need to select SQL Server and I need to configure security and I will connect using the default SA uh, username. I need to supply the password, click on OK and if all goes well, yes, I am connected. The first thing that I do is I need to make sure that I am in the master context and let me pull this down a little. And I want to select all the objects from sys dot sys object. So that's my system catalog. And this gives me the complete list of system objects that are there in SQL Server 2014. And you can see there are about 2,159 system objects. Out of these, I want to find out the objects that are dynamic management views and dynamic management functions and to the best of my knowledge they begin with the prefix dm so i can always put on a where filter here on name and i can search on uh, objects beginning with dm and that would oops sorry so that would be a dm percentage and that would give me the list of all the dynamic management views and I can see there are about 200 dynamic management views. Now if I do exactly the same thing in SQL Server 2012 VM, let me go back to SQL Server 2012 and I will connect here and I click on a new query window 
and something exactly same if I try to do here select star from sys dot sys objects where name is like dm percentage and I will be able to see all the dynamic management objects and I can see that there are 178 DMOs which means there, there are 22 new DMOs in SQL Server 2014. So let's write down our script uh, in SQL Server 2014 to figure that out and we are going to um, do a basically join the this result set with the result set of SQL Server 2014 uh, VM. So I'm going to say select star from <clears throat> sys objects and suppose I name it as an alias as A and I say left outer join. The reason why I do a left outer join is because I want all the uh, result set, I want all the data, the records from my left table and uh, uh, for and if there is no corresponding record for that in my right table, I'll get a value null uh, for that. So I'm going to do a left outer join with my linked server that's win 2 8 r 2 backslash equal 2012sp1 uh, dot uh, master. That's the four part naming convention that I'm following the database name dot sys dot sys objects. Uh, my filtering criteria will be I'll say on and let me rename it. Let me put an alias as B for this one and I'll say on a dot name is equal to b dot name. That's how I am going to compare both the result sets and I filter on where a dot name like dm percentage. And when we run this, we get the entire uh, result set. So this is not really what I expect and I don't want really all, all the other metadata because that, that might not be important to me. So I am going to put down a dot name comma b dot name just to see a head to head comparison. And if I run this, this is what I get. But then now again, I only want to get these ones that are new. Uh, and you can see there is null for, for those corresponding records because these DMOs do not exist in SQL Server 2012. So I don't want to get the entire result set. So I can quickly say where a dot name like DM and I can say b dot name is null and this would give me exactly the 22 records that I'm looking for. So these are basically all the new DMOs that are new in SQL Server 2014. So this was a quick demo uh, to show you how you can figure this out yourself. So in this quick video, I wanted to show you how you can figure out yourself the new dynamic management objects in SQL Server 2014. And you can use this technique to compare any two versions. Just compare the system objects between the two versions and you will get the output. Uh, if you like this video, uh, do share it. Thanks for watching. You can learn more about us on SQLMaestros.com. You can follow us on Twitter at the rate SQL Maestros. Facebook slash SQL Maestros. You can learn more about me uh, at amitbansal.net. My Twitter handle is a underscore bansal and Facebook is slash amitrsbansal.